I'm going to work on this little room box with the 1 to 144 miniature in and I'm starting with gluing in a few pictures that I made for this box. Here it's a picture of my husband I'm gluing in and I will also glue one of our big girl in there. Then I take one of the drawers out because I'm going to make a few details in it before I put it back. I 3D printed this infill on my FDM printer and it fits perfect. First I'm going to make some gift wrap rolls for the drawer and for that I print out this print sheet. I will link to that in the info box below. I find a few of these that I like and I cut them out. Then I roll them up around this wooden dowel and I'm rolling them so they are long instead of thin. I glue it together so that it won't unravel. And I wrap it into cling foil, cutting off the ends so they're not that long and taking a toothpick and pushing the rest into the tube itself. I'm going to make a few of these and then I'm going to glue them into the drawer. Now I'm going to make some tiny balls of UV resin and for that I'm going to use this mold for a lid. It has a nice shape for this so I'm going to use this. I'm going to take a tiny bit of UV resin and I'm going to brush it all over this little mold part with my brush. Light it a bit with my UV light, then another layer and I'm going to do that two or three times before I put it into my real UV light for two minutes. Then just pop it out and you have a tiny UV resin ball that you can use for decorating. I'm going to make this little glass jaw with the gold leaf in them and for that I'm going to use this little mold that I have. I clean up the jaw and I give it a tiny bit of UV resin on the outside to make it nice and shiny. And I'm also going to make the lid for the little jaw.
I'm using a tiny bit of UV resin to glue the jaw to the lid or the lid to the jaw. Now I take some of my gold leaves and I'm going to put that into the bottom of this little jaw. So I just fill it up. I'm not making a bottom to the jaw as I'm gluing it directly into the spot where I want it to be. I have a few miniature rubber bands and I'm going to glue a few of them into this draw. Prep paper and I'm making a miniature crepe paper roll for the draw. I made this small embroidery yarn by using this little thing that I made with two needles in and wrapping some thin thread around it and then a label around that, making these small threads. And I'm going to glue these into this one as well. Then I went on to Thingiverse and I found a scissor for 3D printing and I resized it so it is fitting for 1 to 12. As this is not my original print file then I'm not going to link to it. Sorry about that. I also made a few tubes for making small paint tubes. These are also made by a file I found on Thingiverse and I remade it a bit to fit my purpose. So again, I will not be able to link to a print file for that one. I paint the scissors with a silver gray and the handle I'm going to paint that in a blue and a white color. I also use the silver color to paint the tubes themselves and I'm going to use a pearl white for the lid.
I give the handle on the scissors a tiny bit of UV resin to make it thicker and more glossy than it is by now. Then I made a paint label search on Google and found a few of those. I resized them and used them for these small paint tubes. I'm going to leave a link in the info box below with this print file that I made from pictures I found on Google so they don't belong to me. I glue in the paint tubes Here I'm gluing a scissor together When the glue has dried, I'm going to glue a few of these into the drawer. And now it's all ready to go back into the little peek box. I'm gluing an extra scissor into the pin holder on the desk. Then I'm gluing this little shelf divider in to the shelf unit again. Then I'm gluing the drawer bag again. I'm gluing everything in because if I want to move this little peek box I don't want everything to fall onto the floor or everywhere else so I'm just gluing everything. That's all there is for this video. I hope you liked it and give it a like if you did. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.